Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we hit back with something very, very big. Yes, F1 2021 has finally been announced earlier on today. So we're going to be jumping in and doing my first reaction to the new announcement trailer for the Formula 1 game now as well. Uh, there'll be some links down in the description if you guys want to pre-order F1 2021 right now. If you use the code mat 21210 on the Codemaster store that will take you to a link on Green Man Gaming. You guys can get 10% off of your pre-order. You also help the channel out as well, so it would be massively, massively appreciated uh, to me, obviously, if you guys do click that link. That is currently for PC. They are working on trying to get it for Xbox and PlayStation as well. So, obviously, if you guys have or are obviously looking to buy the game on console as well, then obviously make sure you just stick around. Just hold on just a little bit uh, before you make your pre-orders as well. But yeah, F1 2021, though, finally here. I'll be honest, obviously, Codemasters being part of the... If you can just see... Oh, there we go. Being part of the Racing Ahead program. Even I should say, if I can actually get the logo on the screen. Obviously, they guys, those guys let me know just a little bit early so I can obviously make this video for you guys. But yeah, let's dive in then. I don't know too much as to what to expect uh, with the new game. So let's dive in to this announcement trailer. Really, really looking forward to seeing what is in this then. Here we go. F1 2021. Obviously, we'll probably just watch it sort of once first of all. Yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll try and watch it once through sort of first of all and then see if we can do a bit of a breakdown and see what's going on. It was that was that Lando Norris as well I heard in the background? Or was that perhaps someone else? He tried to stop them from signing him. Anything for Aston Driver. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it! Down the inside of the hairpin! Oh, this can't work! It takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. <laughs> there we go then, F1 2021. It, of course, will be released on July 16th this year. I don't know, obviously, if we're going to see a slightly earlier edition of the game as well. Obviously, if you buy, like, an Ultimate Edition, uh, like we saw with F1 2020. But, yeah, like I said, make sure, obviously, use our code MAT21210 if you order through the Formula 1 store. And, yeah, that would be massively, massively appreciated. But, yeah, it looks like we're sort of trying to go back a bit towards the F1 2019 vibes. I'm sort of giving uh, Devin Butler... And, um, and then Weber as well, wasn't it? Uh, was the other guy back on F1 2019 of sort of, you know, that rivalry with other drivers a bit more. And this is what F1 trailers should be like. I mean, sort of a lot of the old school ones uh, were sort of like just meant to be based on like real life and things like that. But now it's a bit more dramatic. Now we're starting to see a bit more of a storyline coming from Codemasters as well. Obviously, we haven't got too much extra information uh, so far as to what else is going to be included in the game. There's been a couple of leaks online, but again, I uh, don't really know how much of that is based on the truth as well. So yeah, there we go. F1 2021, the announcement trailer, has finally been released. Obviously, I don't think... Obviously, I generally like to check the small print to see if there's anything else. So we should be getting F2 again. That's always good to see. I don't think that's too big a surprise anymore. I'd love to see Formula 3 uh, get released into the games as well. But I think having 30 AI cars on the track uh, might be a little bit too much for the game to handle there. But of course, this is the first game they're making uh, with EA as well. I know a lot of people have done discussions about this before. I think F1 2022 uh, will obviously be where we start to see some of the major changes ready for the game. Obviously, it is being released on Xbox One, PS4, PS5 and Series X as well. Of course, obviously, we're getting the new... Uh, obviously, we're getting the new versions there as well. So I am probably going to be playing it on either Series X or PS5. Obviously, I've got both of those ready uh, for those of you guys that did watch the setup video a few days ago as well. 
So as soon as I said that, I actually obviously clicked back on the link and there was more information I've managed to avoid uh, somehow miss over all of that uh, in this video. So there we go then. Let's have a quick read through the article uh, that has been released on EA's website then. How far will you go before you reach breaking point? It's time for the next generation with F1 2021, the official video game of the 2021 FIA World Championship. PS5, Series X and S, obviously PS4, Xbox One and PC via Steam on July 16th. Obviously, that we sort of knew uh, from the trailers. And so, Breaking Point is the all-new story mode. Rise from the ranks of Formula 2 to a shot at stardom in Formula 1. Experience the lifestyle both on and off the track as you take your seat in the pinnacle of motorsport. That's not all. After his infamous debut in F1 2019, Devin Butler is back. We're getting Devin Butler vibes. We'll have plenty more to reveal about him in our brand new story mode, Breaking Point, in the coming weeks. So, Devin Butler is making a return. He took a year out, but he is back hungry for vengeance as well on F1 2021. There's a two-player career mode as well. We're also excited to reveal a feature you've requested for a long time, the ability to play career with your friends, either co-op or competitively, as each player will have complete control over the assists. You'll be able to enjoy the game whether you're a veteran or a newcomer to the series. So there's a fair chance we might do something like that with Jamie or Kyle at some point over the course of the game as well then. So F1 2021 Real Season Start feature lets you jump into the season's actions, reflecting the live standings, and then you can take over and drive the remaining races. This is going to be so good for trying to make hypothetical videos as well. And so obviously you can align it with real life. Say you want to just do like the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix at the end of the year as well. That is going to be really, really cool uh, to get on the game as well then so obviously as uh, so next generation experience again this is obviously talking about like faster loading times and a visual uplift as well that's gonna be really cool that's what we're gonna be playing on the new generation obviously so if you haven't bought an xbox series s or x or a playstation 5 just yet uh, you will be able to get free upgrade through obviously the delivery uh, smart delivery on xbox and then yeah free upgrade on playstation so what's returning to f1 2021 features you know and love from f1 2020 so my team isn't going away that's really good to see Two-player screen returns as well. Shorter seasons, obviously not something we've done too much, I'll be honest. Uh, but definitely I know a lot of people have really liked that. And of course, F2 isn't going anywhere as well. And we're also expanding and refining many other features, including scalable assist options, driver stats, and multiplayer. And then of course, if you want to pre-order right now, you'll get the Breaking Point content pack set of exclusive in-games items inspired by the new stories, fictional styles, and 5,000 Bitcoins as well. Our digital deluxe edition includes seven to soon be unveiled classic F1 drivers for my team. We're getting seven soon to be unveiled classic F1 drivers for my team is so cool. We're getting like, well, obviously we don't know who that's going to be just yet. We'll make sure we make a video on that uh, when that gets released down the line. Uh, three days early access. So like I said, that'll be, I would have thought the Tuesday then, obviously if the game's released on Friday the 16th. Uh, extra customizable content, 18,000 Bitcoins and the Breaking Point content back. We'll be adding three new circuits. Portamau, Imola and Jeddah uh, will be available as well uh, as post-launch content. That's quite interesting. Uh, so yeah, very intrigued to see about that then as to why that's not coming to the game straight away. I'm guessing obviously they're still trying to develop the tracks and things like that. Uh, for F1 2021 news, obviously make sure you're following all of Cody's uh, socials as well. And then of course you've got the option to buy the game as well. So obviously I'll make sure I link that down in the comments below. Uh, in terms of we've got some pictures as well. There of course is the Alpine. Uh, we've also got the Alphatari. Again, obviously not final car models. So these are just a quick look at the livery. Uh, that I mean obviously we've done a fair bit at in real life as well. So there we go. That is a few pictures of all of the cars. No Mercedes, rather interestingly. So I'm guessing that's still being done. And then what's the other team we're missing? Is it Red Bull as well? I think it must be. Uh, no, Red Bull's there. Who, who, Ferrari, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, we're also missing. That's that's bad that I forgot about Ferrari as well. But yeah, like I said, uh, obviously, make sure if you guys do want to see more F1 2021 content, get yourself subscribed. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed as well. This is big, big news for F1 2021. And yeah, we will be back covering it all. We'll be back, of course, with Breaking Point when it does release. Or obviously, hopefully, before July 16th. We'll be pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition anyway. Obviously, if we can, try and get some content out to you guys even earlier uh, than that, if possible. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Do make sure you leave a like. Get yourself subscribed as well. And yeah, we will be back very, very soon with more F1 2021 content. A big thank you to our channel members for making these videos possible. You can be featured in these end clips as well as granted access to some other exclusive perks for just £1 a month by clicking the join button below.